so guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about uh, firebase authentication inside your web applications created with flutter the flutter interact event was held recently and they made a lot of announcements right one of the cool announcements is that uh, this firebase authentication plugin can now be used for your web applications as well that is whichever plugin that's available here for flutter if it has this web label attached to it, it can be used inside your uh, Flutter web applications as well. Besides the Hummingbird project, the Flutter web application project uh, has been moved to beta as well. So I'll be making more and more uh, videos regarding uh, how to build web applications using Flutter. So anyway, let's get started guys. Let's bring in authentication using Firebase inside your uh, web applications. It's pretty much simple. I'll show you how. Now I have a blank app scaffolded here. I'll first Im install the plugins, necessary plugins. So here I'll just go ahead and add. These two plugins. Let it get, get them for us. Meanwhile, I'll get back into main dot data. I'll remove all these. Art service dot dot um, um, Okay, now we have three screens. The login screen is the one that will be shown first. And once the user enters his email and password and clicks on sign in, he'll be taken to the home screen, right? And the auth service will contain all the uh, methods that will help us in this authentication process. First, let's add Firebase to this project. So what I'll do is uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you have a Firebase project here, right? Just click on add app and then here choose the web, okay? and uh, give any name here, uh, Firebase uh, Flutter Web, Web, okay. Click on register app and uh, get into uh, web index.html. Here just add this, here just add these two lines of code, okay. And we also need to add this entire script. If you had already uh, configured a Firebase for a web application, that is an application like a Angular application, then you will obviously know how to do this, guys. So the key thing is it should be above this main dot dot file. That's it. Okay, just save this. Now you have a Firebase configured for your Flutter web application. Let's go ahead and try to use authentication inside this. So first, what I'll do is I'll uh, Go ahead and create the login and home screens. So this will be a stateful widget. Stateful widget. And uh, here what I'll do is uh, login page. Save this home screen as well. In stateful widget. home page once again save this fine now we have uh, two files here that we need to provide here during runtime depending on the authentication status of the particular user so this is the service that we will be using for our authentication so class authentication auth service okay. auth service uh, inside this I will simply do I'll have a method for handle authentication. This will return a string builder. For this, we need to give a stream, right? Uh, stream, sorry. 
firebase or dot instance dot on or change change this will be a string and the builder function will be context snapshot if snapshot dot has data You understand all right yes you understand what's happening here right i'm simply uh, checking the authentication status of a particular user and then returning a page accordingly that's it nothing fancy in this <coughs> now get back to main.dart file sorry i didn't say this sorry uh, auth service dot uh, handle handle auth uh, now that we have uh, a function that will in insert the appropriate screen for us, let's go ahead and uh, do the screens as well first. I'll do the home screen. You understand what's happening here right now all i need to do is write a sign out method which i'll do in auth service fine save this get back to uh, home screen simply call that auth service dot uh, auth service dot sign out right sign out right now we have a screen that will simply show you are logged in and it will also have a button that will help us to sign out that's it nothing fancy in this guys you understood what we are we are what we are doing so far right let's get back to login screen this is where we are going to get the email and password from the user right so let's go ahead and do that uh, return scaffold
you understand what we have done here right i have simply added two fields guys I, uh, these are all validators okay i am simply having a function for validating the email and uh, i am simply adding two fields one for the email and the other for the password and i am simply uh, uh, i have a button an ink will right uh, now when tapping on the sign in we should perform the authentication function so what i'll do is i'll go back to auth service and then i'll write that function it's pretty much simple Email, email, password, password, login, print, send, under, catch error. Let's just save this for now. That's it, right? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, now let's go ahead and try running this. Oh, we need to call this in login screen, right? Sign. Let's go ahead and uh, try running this on our uh, browser to see how this works. Now, before running this on our browser, check the list of devices here. Okay, uh, here it's given Chrome Web JavaScript, right? So this is going to be run using a Chrome browser instance. I'll just tap on F5. All right, now you can see that it has loaded in our browser, right? Uh, it's just a simple demo, guys. So I didn't put much thought into the styling. Tester at t.com. And I'll give in the password as well. If I just tap on sign in now, not tap, uh, click on sign in, it automatically signed me in, right? As you can see here in the home screen, uh, it's printing signed in here. Not only that, uh, in the home screen, where is it? Uh, you are logged in and we have a button, a red colored button uh, saying sign out. Cool, right? Now, if I just click on sign out, it should automatically sign me out and show me the login screen so yeah guys uh, this is now we have uh, done firebase authentication wait i'll show you get back into this close this if you tap on authentication now tester at t.com signed in today it's showing the today's date right so yeah guys uh, uh, this is how you use uh, this firebase auth plugin to authenticate inside your uh, flutter web applications i know this was just a simple demo and it, i just showed you one method of authentication you can do google sign in as well which i'll show you tomorrow a, probably a video uh, will be uploaded on that right after this one uh, now that uh, uh, we uh, authentication is done we, which means that uh, i mean if authentication is done uh, we can bring in user management complete user management system inside our uh, web applications as well right in uh, return using flutter so uh, the consequent videos i i will show you how to uh, start writing small web applications using flutter as well flutter and firebase as well uh, we'll also be seeing how to do uh, mobile applications there is no change in that but uh, i'll start with that as well there have been uh, i have been unable to make videos i and uh, nowadays i make uh, videos once in every uh, 10 days or something that's because i got a lot of work guys uh, i got some projects that i'm working on right now and that's the reason why uh, my video uploads have been infrequent uh, but in the forthcoming uh, weeks i'll try to make videos on both web and uh, mobile application using flutter and firebase right so yeah guys uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today i hope you like this video hope this was helpful to you if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button guys the thumbs up button and if you like what i'm doing on this channel and you would like to watch more
cool content like this then kindly subscribe to my channel it's free right just subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notifications icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video right so yeah guys uh, i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye